Well, today I wanted to make a no bullshit guy on workflow and this is gonna be a theoretical video and um, basically all of this you're gonna watch is gonna make take you some time so just dedicate a day for this a whole day or maybe two hours every day for a week so if you really want to know how to improve your workflow and get your ideas on the spot really quickly well watch the whole thing well first tip build your own template as you can see mine is a really minimalistic one basically I have everything set up I have the auto hide for my browser so I go like this and it pops up well I have already set up here my side chain my piano uh, some group for my basses my chords with synths in it and on my mixer I have already set up my buses my non-drop bus with all its element uh, as well as the drop bus and basically I'm getting the effort for this shit in my mixing tutorial you can check that out here and if it doesn't pop it's because it's gonna be up next week and well basically you can have drum powder already set it up right here just like this and basically you can have a drum pattern and set up right here and save that on your template so you can the next time only replace the drums to the ones you would like to put in you can start making your drop or whatever you want really quickly and basically yeah the possibilities are endless so try to make your template just for your necessities as a producer and this is gonna be basically a game changer or i hope so then another tip learn the shortcuts for your dog and if you're a fl user you kind of know the shortcuts for fl studio and if you don't go watch some tutorials you have to use them apply them and to your memorize and yeah basically it's gonna take some time but basically it's gonna save you a lot of fucking time and here are some of the ones i use the most Control right click to select whatever Control a to select everything Control d to deselect Control b to duplicate right to the end of the clip you can disable your keyboard to piano keyboard so you can switch between your tools right here for example if you put c you can have the knife and for example shift right click to cut just like that and shift right click to cut and delete what you cut it delays the shortest part of the clip that you cut i right click to preview your audio clip or your pattern on the playlist maybe some notes on the piano double click to mute or disable anything and if you do it again you can enable it you can select something and then use shift up or down to move your clips on your playlist or some notes on the piano roll just like this you can hold shift and scroll to move a track on your playlist also shift click and you select a part of your timeline then for example we have here your volume knob and if you want to automate a clip you right click it and just press a and you can see letters that are underlined right here that means that in this screen those can be used shortcuts and for example you select one thing right here and control L and you can route it to your mixer then if you hold click for all of this and then go control shift L you're gonna route them to the mixer in order and for example add alt and left right to move and organize your channels on your mixer third tip plugin organization on any though you can have sections for your synth and plugin selection so it doesn't show all the plugins mixed up on one place and just show you the ones you would like to use at the moment or the ones you currently use and here on the full studio i'm gonna show you how to organize it like this for your synth you're gonna go to documents image line fl studio presets then plugin database and go to generators and i have all of these folders already set up and basically you can personalize this as you want i have this my fabs plugins then some instruments then I have some samplers and some since and you can see here it's already organized like that and for your effects you're gonna go to documents to image line fl studio preset plugin database and then go to effects and then i have this i have some of them like this and the other ones here so it pop ups like this on the mixer the ones are out of the document files and basically as you can see here on the old one i have these other groups that basically here on this folder i go in and there are more folders so you can have that set up as you want and i guess i'm gonna update my organization right here and this way you have everything however you want it to be so you have to find your workflow and make your music faster then my fourth tip is gonna be sample organization after you organize all of your plugins you have to now organize your samples as you can see here i have my bh fabis that are i have here some bases i like to resample 
Then I have the drums I like. For example, I have kicks, snares, claps, and some cymbals. But the ones I really use because all of us are, as producers, we have a lot of like sample packs. And if you have all mixed up, you always have sometimes one kick you always use. If you're gonna look for the sample pack you want every time you want to use that kick, you're gonna waste time. So you would like to have your samples organized like this when you have your favorite ones. But I also have not my favorite ones also organized like that. I have my kicks, I have dubstep kicks, future bass kick, hard style kicks, hip hop kicks, house kicks, and so on. So it's gonna take some fucking time. And my fifth tip, your racks and your effects chains. Uh, well, my, I don't want to say popular, most popular, but uh, the one I always talk to you about is my subwoofer right here. Um, it's dispatcher that I have all of this set up right here with some knobs and all that stuff. If you want to know how to make one of your own patcher presets, you can tell me and I'm going to make a tutorial on it. But basically, I don't use patcher. I don't like it. I don't like how it works, but I know it's like uh, infinite. You know, you can have all the effects you like, but I usually go for using the slots right here. And what I usually do is that I have a chain I like and I save it. I have a lot of shit right here. Uh, for example, I use a lot of this BH gun bass preset that if I drop any sound like with the effects chain I have. Okay, sounds shit. So well, uh, it's not like it doesn't work with everything, but you get the point, right? You have to save your shit, the if exchange you like, and you can experiment and make sounds even faster. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you take these tips and use it on your productions. And well, that's it. Hope you enjoy.